What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Mav Attack. Now if you don't know a video, here I just clicked on. This is my five reasons to be excited about H Hour Worlds Elite. Now, if you guys haven't heard about H Hour yet, then let me educate you a little bit. Successfully backed on Kickstarter and greenlit on Steam, H Hour is being developed by SOF Studios and is a game that hopes to revitalize the tactical shooter genre and bring back team-based gameplay to shooting games. Being developed on PC for Steam and on PlayStation 4, H Hour Worlds Elite looks promising. So, without further ado, these are my five reasons why I'm excited for H Hour. SOCOM Spiritual Successor. The earlier SOCOM games were some of the best times many people had. The ability to play with a clan, which is, if you don't know, is an online team, was one of the best experiences anyone can have, and if you missed out on a SOCOM game, my sympathy goes out to you. Many features we all know and love from SOCOM are making a return, and many of the same gameplay features are being worked on and perfected to give it that SOCOM feel, but for the new age. If you did play SOCOM, you understand the feeling of competition, teamwork, tactical gameplay that was all SOCOM, and that will be H Hour World's Elite. Tactical gameplay. If you've played nothing but Call of Duty and many other fast-paced first-person shooter games, or even third-person shooters, this game will be foreign to you. Not only is it going to be a slow-paced game that makes you think instead of running around blindly like an idiot, but it encourages teamwork and strategy with your clan. Callouts, routes, and overall planning will be detrimental to victory in H Hour. Team based. If you're a solo dog or a one-man army, odds are you're going to have a hard time playing H Hour. The structure is built in a way that team play is vital to your success, and if you don't play well with others, odds are you won't play well at all. <laughs> Clanning up with friends, competing in ladder matches with clan stats and live member performance, giving commands and team only voice chat, to even being able to create your own unique badges and logos, this game supports team based thinkers 100%. Besides, also being offered is the ability to create clan training games with detailed after-action reports for your clan's performance. This sounds absolutely amazing and I love it. Community. The H Hour community is one of the most dedicated, supportive, and constructive communities I've ever seen backing up a game. With creative director David Sears, who worked closely on the earlier SOCOM games, to community leaders like Suck My Turban, SOCOM Steph, my man Abel Green, Big Fry and SOCOM Buck, who are not only helping spread awareness and educate gamers on this up-and-coming game, but also working closely with the developers to make sure it's as accurate to that SOCOM feel that we all know and love. This is truly an amazing community where everyone supports everyone and works together to get the best gaming experience possible. Gaming needs this. Guys, honestly, we need more games like these. We need more games that encourage tactical warfare, team play, and fun, solid gameplay. Amazing experiences are created on games like this. The industry is cluttered with first-person shooters and games that encourage running around like a chicken with his head cut off, killing enemies and not working with your teammates. I can't explain it, but if you've ever played a SOCOM game or even a Tom Clancy game, you'll understand where I'm coming from. The experience in thinking and being critical about your moves is an important one, and in this oversaturated market, H Hour is doing something incredible. Shoot, even myself, when I heard about it, I wasn't a believer at first. But as time went on, and I heard more about the game, and I talked to more people, and got their thoughts and opinions about what's going on in the game, I got my hopes up, I became a believer, and my excitement increased tremendously. Alright, look at me. You looking at me? Nah, you looking over there. No, look at me. This is a game you're going to want to follow. This is a game that you're going to want to look out for. It's an experience that you're not going to want to miss out on. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, of course, please be sure to do so. Leave a comment, let me know how you felt, and also consider subscribing to join the MAV movement because we out here making moves. But I will see you all on the next episode of MAV Attack, motherfucker.